All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, bet. All right, how does it look? You look good? Okay, cool, I got it. Okay, cool. All right, here you go. I know, I know, I know, I know why I'm is here, first of all, okay? Um, let me, let me, let me, let me go ahead and say something real quick, okay, my First things first, if you not in the mix, you feel what I'm saying? If you just not in the mix and you don't know what's going on, some weird shit going on, gang. <laughs> some very weird shit is going on, and I don't, and I, and I'm not, and here's the thing, though. I'm not going to sugarcoat I'm not going to. Gonna try to give the benefit of the doubt. Mm -mm. I'm not gonna try to hear this out on nothing. Nothing. Okay? I'm not, not gonna cope. Not a god thing because nothing. like this shit, it's weird, my it's it's weird and I don't like it. It's it's bro, like I don't like it. It's weird. So if y'all don't know, okay, my nigga on Twitter, some leaked DMs came out with Mr. DEO himself talking shit about a lot of niggas behind the scenes, my nigga. Talking shit about a lot, a lot of Behind the scenes, bro, and I don't like it. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not gonna talk on anybody else and what they got going on because I don't know what the f they got going on behind the scenes. I can only talk on me and A and P and what I got going on. Okay, my let me go ahead and bring some shit up because, bro, this is this will be the and this is the last time y'all will hear me even speak on this on this topic. You feel what I'm saying? Okay, let me go ahead and show y'all. So he's been talking to his people. So he got a little arm. So he got like. He like a sergeant to his to the DEO. That's what I'm thinking, huh? So he like talk to them like regular people, like vent to them, and then they expose them. Am I right? Is that what happened? So it was. So when I was like beefing with him or whatever, was it like? So he was like sending them at me, type. He was the behind all of it. It's crazy, bro. I ain't even fair, bro. I got 300,000 followers on Twitch. Y'all just niggas something real quick. Where, where's the shit that got to pertain to me, bro? Hold on, hold on. Where's the shit that got to pertain to me? I got it in my phone, but I got it in my phone, but can somebody send me that motherfucker? Matter of fact, let me read it off my phone real quick. But I really want to really be able to show y'all what's going on, though. I want to I be able to show y'all. Okay, so chat. Um, Hold on, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Hold on, hold on, let me look at this motherfucker real quick. I gotta block some shit out because some slurs were said, buddy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's rage. This is about A and P, but I wanna, I wanna do it about me. Type. Oh my god, it's a lot of. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My fault, chat. I got it in my phone, but hold on, let me see if I can get. I'm just talking about it on my phone. All right, chat. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I left. First of all, happy birthday again. I don't give a fuck if it's the next day. My brother Aiden, Aiden, I fucking love you. We came all the way out for that. That's the reason I, I didn't stream chat. I had to like hide it and shit like that so nobody can know. But, but shout out to my boy Aiden. That shit was a very fire time that we had. Had a lot of fun. It was amazing. Okay, chat. Everybody go say W A R. My brother right there. Love him to death. Okay. Um, my so I literally see these screenshots, bro. First thing I seen was let me see if I can show y'all. Now, Kyle playing CS. LOL, motherfuckers are dick writers. Okay? Bro, I, that's what I don't get. How can you beef? And I'm being 100% unbiased, bro. Like, how old is Bruce? I feel like after the, after the age of like 21, bro, it's like, all right. You know what I'm saying? He's grown. I know we be trying to act like we young, but like after the age of 21, bro, it's like, all right. You know what I'm saying? Like we at that age, age now. You can't, you be, you can't be for the nigga over a video game because he playing a video game, bro. That's crazy. That's wild. Cause he playing a video game. He said, <laughs> "LOL, motherfucker, are, are writers now? Can I play CS? First of all, I'm not even good at that fucking game. That's fucking trash. I went on there literally to gamble open cases like my chat wanted me to do. Okay." All right. Second of all, f all of that. Why the f is niggas going in a group chat and saying little sh like that about me though? I'm not even worried about. Why the f are you even saying that? Like that sh is on some like girl type petty type. Sh like I don't know when the f start doing that, but that's not even cool. Especially coming from a who keep talking about some 
Bro, if I got a problem with anybody, I'll call them. I'll ring their phone up. Especially coming from that type of bro. Then there was there's more screenshots of um so like basically shitting on what I had going on with um the 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 f acting shit. I'm gonna say now niggas wanna go into acting like they ain't been acting this whole time. I don't care Kai. Wait, Bruce been in a movie before? He been in a movie before? Or was it just like that little kick thing? He talking about being fake. Kai did. That's just, This just don't seem like I don't know. It to me it, the whole thing just seems like unnecessary. Kind of like out of my age group in a way. Like I I just don't see how you get mad at you like playing a video game. And when I think of like Kai and I think of Bruce, I don't think of like competition. I don't think they in the same type of lane in a way. I feel like Bruce is more like a like a cult following. I don't really know, bro. I don't come from the streaming world for real. And I feel like Kai is more like mainstream. I feel like it's more I feel like they different type of I don't know, bro. It just don't I don't know. Are you on oh God I'm not watching that. Then he went into Yachty and shit like that. That's not even me to that second half is not even just me to speak on. But in all reality, bro, like my what type of female activity is that, bro? Like, and the shit, the shit, that's the shit, why I'm really mad, chat, is because I spoke to this today. I literally texted him today, my I texted him today, and this is two different personalities when it comes to sparking up a stream and it comes to real life. Y'all already know that weird shit that he tried to do before with the whole little Kai is fake, uh, Addison the third, which was not true at all, and I played it very mature, my I didn't address it. I didn't, I didn't try to feed into it. I let him be. I let him rock. I played that very mature, bro. I played that very mature. I hit him up. I let him know, like, what's up? Like, yo, bro, ah, ah, you said this, ah, ah, cool. I let, I, I played it very mature, right? The shit that's killing me, though, chat, this is on, this is saying all this shit after the shit done text me a whole essay. Pack essay crazy. Of apologizing. That's crazy. Nah, that ain't even no essay. That's a book. That's crazy. That's killing me, though, chat. Going, this nigga is saying all this shit after the nigga done text me a whole I ain't gonna lie bro I ain't texting no that much I wouldn't I don't even think I'd text my girl no no even if we arguing I wouldn't even text my girl nothing crazy like that that's wild that's not an essay bro <laughs> that's a five page book what I ain't texting nobody that much that's crazy. And them look like big words, too. They don't look like no small words. No abbreviations or nothing. Not W-Y-D. It seemed like he typing, what you doing? Like, that's crazy. Oh, essay. Paragraph essay of apologizing for what he did already. You feel me? I have a whole essay of him apologizing. And his pride is so big that he wouldn't go on stream and say, oh, yeah, I apologize to Kai. If you, if you watch... Bruce, he'll say, y'all don't got to know if y'all apologize or not. Then like, I ain't coming on here to be negative. But I, I know an internet gangster when I see one. Bruce is an internet warrior. When I tell y'all, bro, I have never, ever in my life seen this man outside, bro. This man does not leave the house, but he will get, just like he's showing you, he texts he text him a whole paragraph, and then he get online and he act all tough. Bro, I have never, ever seen this outside, bro. I guarantee you, whenever he get on stream, bro, whenever he get back on stream and he address the situation, he gonna act so tough, bro. So, 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 so tough. It's wild. Like, internet really ruins people, bro. The inter When people get a little bit of money and they never used to having money or if they get on the internet, they act like different people from how they act in real life. Mine's is flip. Like, I get on here and I entertain, but when I'm off, I'm, like, more, like, reserved. Like, I'm chilling. You feel me? Like, I feel like a like Bruce is more, like, on some, like, he like a little boy. You know what I'm saying? And then when he get on here, he try to be Mr. Macho Man because of his, you know what I'm saying? He feel like he got a whole army behind him. And like, I don't know, bro.
That's y'all favorite streamer. Though. I don't want no. Hey, D.O., bro. I don't want no more smoke with y'all. Y'all, y'all got it. I don't want no smoke, bro. I come in peace. I'm just coming in here and reacting to it because y'all bringing me up. I don't want no smoke. Sent me an essay, my n apologizing. Then after I gave him the benefit of the doubt and I said, yo, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, I really didn't expect that from you and I really appreciate you. And whatever you need, I'm here. I I'll be cool. It was never no beef and sh He says that, then still goes into a DM and say that, bro. How the fuck? How the fuck you, how the fuck you do that? Like, how, my n how the fuck you do that? I don't understand it. Then I spoke to him today. My n I spoke to him today. He hit me up and said, "Yo, bro, if you feel if you if you free to talk to, if you free to talk, let me know. I know you've seen things that were said, and I've never hit you." I said, "Not." I said, "Not gonna lie, bro. That's the craziest. Shit. I don't know what type of animosity you got towards, but that shit ain't cool." And he said, "I understand." Ah, da, 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 et cetera, et cetera. Trying to make some some shit, telling me that this happened at the time him and DDG was doing his little beef. My those screenshots are literally after you. I'm telling y'all, bro, I don't even think about dog. But it's something about internet beefing with me, bro. It's a different type of internet beef. I'm letting y'all know right now, bro. It's a different type of internet beef with me because I'm not, I'm, you, nobody, nobody can little boy me, bro. Like. It can't little boy me. That's what y'all don't understand. Like, I don't care how many memes y'all make of me. I don't care if y'all say my music is trash. Bro, when I lock my phone, none of that matters. Life is good. I'm at peace with that. I understand that. I can separate internet from real life. You feel me? So it don't matter what's going on, bro. The, the two don't intertwine. So when I beef with it, and I dig deep in his soul and his heart that sit with them after they in that stream. Some can't handle it. Right now I'm 4 and 0. I'm not even <laughs> I'm 4 and 0, bro. Y'all can't tell me I ain't, bro. I don't lose. You said sorry, my Bro, whether the DMs are old or not, the time when you said that I was cool with you and you still say it, my See his goal was after. You joined my game, my n Word of my, bro, word to everything I love. Word of my mother that joined my sh What are you talking about? How you gonna say that and then join my sh and then say that, my n That shit make no fucking sense. That shit is literally, that's, that's girl sh I would never, my n go behind just and, and, and say this about him. How are you paying attention to me so much that you get mad that I'm on CS go? You feel like as if a nigga is after you. And, I, and my thing is, I don't, what the fuck has I, have I done to you, my n what have I done to you? Words to my mother, I want you to tell me. What have I done to you for you to talk to me in that type of way? And to gossip to your mods, bro. You should be going to therapy. My that is crazy. Like, people on Twitter and the mods, y'all be real. Y'all be real people, but then it's like, y'all not really real people for real. Like, y'all real people, but y'all not real people. You feel me? Like, I don't know how to explain it, but I I probably I get it. You know, he probably be in the crib with his girl all day and, shit, and he don't really get out like that. So when he wanna vent, because I got a little group chat too. But I know what to say and what not to say. You know what I mean? Like I know when it's like a little too much. So I ain't really seen the screenshots. I gotta see the screenshots of what he really said. If that's how you feeling, I really I ain't gonna lie, bro. I really think that really going through some Bro, I swear to God, you need to go to therapy if that's how you feeling, bro. You need to go on that track hop, hit a hundred on the gas, straight to therapy. Tell the nigga or what the fuck you're going to, bro. That's what you need to do, gang. You need to do that, bro. Because what I don't respect that at all, bro. You telling me shit is old, nigga, the shit is well there after the apology, bro. That's not cool. I'ma treat this as if it's a anybody would do this to me. And I don't want to be your friend no more. I don't want to do shit with you no more. I don't want to be associated with you no more. I don't want, I don't give a f what you got going on. Because it is too dangerous to have a nigga like that in my circle. One nah, that's like, that's like, he envious. That's how, that's a person that wants what you got. Somebody that talked, that's a crazy pause, but a, 
a dude that wants what you got gonna talk behind your back because he's jealous of you. I'm not being biased. I'm being real. Bruce is wrong. Y'all want me to sit on here and say Bruce was right for talking behind his back. Bro, I didn't know who Bruce was before Kai, bro. A lot of people don't. Y'all got to understand, like, an innocent bystander that comes not from the streaming world. Bro, when you think of streaming, this is no glazing, bro. Like, I'm being real. I know Kai in real life, bro. Like, I don't think of the nigga as this. I'm saying, like, when you think of streaming, bro, you think of, like, Kai. Like, you used to think Aiden. I feel like Aiden got his own little coat going on since he moved to kick. But you think of, like... PG-13, oh, this nigga, you know what I'm saying? You think of Kai, you think of maybe your Rage, you think of, like, XQC, you know what I mean? Like, that's they type of group, bro. You don't really think of, oh, Bruce, or Speed. Like, you think of Kai, Speed, XQC, and your Rage, and, and uh, Valor, what's the girl that played Valorant? What's the girl name? See, I don't even know her name, but I know of her because she's mainstream. It's like a complete Pokemon like you it's you know what I'm saying when you think of rap you think of Drake Kendrick when you think of who the top of rap you think Drake Kendrick J Cole and DDG like them like the top four that you think of when you think of like rap you feel me like you <laughs> you don't really think of like nobody you don't think of like Bruce you feel me so it's like he like if if you could compare Bruce to the rap game he like a who would y'all compare him to? Because he's not mainstream to me. Let's get over that topic. But it's just like, I didn't know who he was at, before Kai. So for him to, and then the, the little boys nice shit, like Kai, they could have, him and your race could have did that with anybody. It would have been lit. So it's like, I don't know. I feel like he should have just, some got to play their role, bro. Everybody can't be the biggest. Everybody can't be number one. You know what I'm saying? Number one is there for a reason. You at the top. When you at the top, any it, it ain't two seats. It's only one seat at the top. So if you if you number three, bro, you still grabbing bands. You still, you know what I'm saying? You still like that, bro. You number three, you number four, you still like that. But then if you try to beef with number one and number one then low-key helped you, think about it. Let me put it in better perspective for y'all. I'm great with analogies. Think about it. Drake. Drake do a feature for another artist, right? Drake's number one. He do a feature for another artist, or let's just say like uh, Lil Baby, Lil Dirk, whatever, right? He do a feature with them. Boom. They bump up to number two, number three. If they start beefing with Drake, the people that, that, that started with them that didn't know of them because of Drake, they will lose that fans. You feel me? You get what I'm saying? So it's like, I don't know. And then on top of that, they supposed to be actually friends. That's what really makes it bad. From a business standpoint, it was stupid. From a friendship standpoint, it was stupid. So it's no right reason. Y'all say, oh, I'm, I'm being one side. I'm not being one side. I don't care about no old Bruce beef. I don't care about no internet gun to the back of your head, bro. That brought me so many streams. Like, I don't even care, bro. Y'all control me all day long. When I close my phone and I cut off the stream and the internet, listen. You're saying I'm yapping. <laughs> Just let me yap. This is my first stream back. Listen, when I close my phone and I end the stream and everything, bro, life good. You feel me? So it's like, all right. I, I, it doesn't bother me anymore, you know. Said face cam little. All right, y'all here trying to roast and shit. It's all good. One day smiling. Next time you in your phone gossiping to your top mods about what you're doing, and I and I hey hey I condemn the nigga who leaked that. Shit. I condemn him. You wanna know why? Now who is wrong is whoever leaked it. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Whoever leaked it, bro, you ain't right. That's where it started at. Whoever. Bruce went wrong for saying it, but the mod was wrong for leaking it. I ain't gonna lie, bro. Think about it. Think you the main, think you the main mod, bro. You the, you supposed to be my main homie on the internet. 
and you leak it. Or what did he do to the mod? Did he disrespect the mod or something? He unmodded them. Can't be mean in the middle of that. Best they got dirt on you, bud. Come on, man. Ah, because that's God. You think that's just gonna be in the dark and, and and not come to light? Come on, bro. You feel me? I can't talk. I can't talk about nobody else but myself. And I don't appreciate <laughs> that. Shit that you told me about my community. I ain't never told you about your community not once. That's this female tendencies coming from a nigga who always says. I would never do that. I'm a call before anything. Bro, like that shit is whack. And that and that's a and it goes, it could be used in a real life situation. Chat, if y'all got any nigga like that in y'all circle, you need to cut them off. That's facts. Bro. And the people that I feel most sorry for is DEO. My nigga, you are embarrassing them. Them ride or die for you. I ain't gonna lie. Hey. As a community, as a community, past tense, as an old community, because I don't know if y'all still rock with it, but the DEO community, y'all was going in for them. I get y'all that, bro. I box y'all up in real life, but on the internet, y'all got it. I ain't gonna lie. They, y'all was riding for them. It is embarrassing. It is embarrassing, bro. It's embarrassing, I ain't gonna lie, because they was going in for that. They back you up on any situation you got going on. Right or wrong, you are embarrassing them. Bro, straight embarrassing them. Them niggas are literally on TikTok, Twitter, every single thing. For free, I would have paid you. I would have paid y'all, man. Come on, man, y'all know I'm Mr. Employer. Come to the right side. The y'all doing all this for the free ski and he over there talking crazy, unmodding y'all and everything. Boy, y'all are silly. Look at you. Look at you. Riding for this man and he don't even care about you. Unmod you for free. But I would have made you a, a top mod and I would have paid your mama bills. Hell wrong. Shit. Matter of fact, just because of that, hey, a mod, drop your cash app. Only mods. Drop your cash app, bro. I got y'all. Only mods, though. Only mods, man. See, I'm going to show y'all how I'm, I treat my peoples, bro. Think about it. Where the mods at, man? Where my mod at? You not that rich. Come on, man. I got real bankroll. Stop playing with me. I don't know what y'all think this is. And I just went coloring it on him. Only Mar, only Amari, drop your cash app, bro. Lunch on me, man. Drop your cash app right now, bro. Lunch on me. Cardi, I got you, bro. Dollar sign, Cardi, I got you right now, bro. Lunch on me, man. How much you want? I'm gonna give you a fifty ball. Just, just because, just a little fifty ball, man. Nothing crazy, just a little fifty ball. You know what I'm saying? Man, I pay my folks, man. I get them right. Yeah, 50 piece nugget. That's going to feed him and his entire family for the night. Thing, them are literally defending you no matter what. And you go do some dumb shit like that. You know what that's called, bro? Being a crash out. My n and y'all know I never get out of my character to, to do this and that. But I feel like, a nigga I feel like I'm being tested. Like, bro, like, God, like, why are you doing that to me, though? That's what I'm trying to understand. Why me? I done seen that. That's only a few of the, the shits I done seen, bro. I done seen a lot. This is like, I ain't gonna lie. Kai, you a good dude, bro. Kai watching this, ain't he? I would tell him this, too, on the phone. Kai is a very, you a very good dude, bro. And I I know somewhere in your heart you want to forgive, bro. Just if you do forgive him, bro, keep him at a distance. Cause I know somewhere in your heart you like, man, you know what I'm saying? We was cool. He probably apologized. You know what I'm saying? This and that. Now, if he come on stream talking crazy, 
then it's like, all right. But if you're going to get a second chance, bro, you can't let close in like that, bro. Like that, that's just weird, bro. Like that, when people show you stuff like that, they're going to be like that for life, forever, forever. And I'm going to tell you this. Oh, he said, no, yeah, that's good, bro. You don't need them, bro. You no, no glazing, bro. You top. You top dog. You literally need nobody, bro. You don't need to be friends with nobody. For you to be cool with this and be streaming with him and playing a game with him and putting him on and this and that, and he's still talking crazy, you gave him the power to talk crazy. Now, look. That's just me being real. You done gave him the platform that he ain't had before. He took advantage of it. Bit the hand that fed him. That's the that's the that's the truth. I know you you probably is too humble to think that, but I know when you think in the back of your head, nigga, you know what it is, bro. You ain't have to put that nigga in that spotlight at all. Don't do that with me. That shit is female tendencies. And if you think anybody that thinks yo nah kind of is cool, no, I'm not. I'm not I, no, no, I got no I wish him the best. Do your thing, gang. Rock on. Keep going, but not with me. I can't. Not with me. I'm not doing that. I don't stand for it. I don't stand for it. I'm not with that, bro. So do what you got to do, just not around me. I just can't trust you. Can't. You sending me an essay apologizing, then doing that? I can't trust you, gang. Can't, bro. Then I, knew, I knew Bruce was two-faced. When he was talking crazy on the internet and he ain't pull up to the pool party. Like, it's been so many. And I ain't even on no vi I'm not a violent y'all. Like, I'm, I'm telling y'all, I'm not a violent person. But, like, I just know how it just be different. It's, it's a different type of energy in person, bro. Because when, bro, when people meet me in person, they be like, wait a minute. This is, like, a cool nigga, like. Cause I am, bro. I be chilling. I be chilling, bro. Internet has worked to me. I be chilling in real life. But it's like when you talk crazy on the net like that, like I don't get on the internet and just be dogging folks for real. Peep every beef that I didn't got in for the 30th million time, they start with me every single time. The whole Bruce situation that started because of him. Pillow talking to an artist like a female for no reason. Don't collab with him. What? I don't even know you. Like, I don't know, bro. Every every situation I ever got in, it started from the other person. And you then I spoke to you today, and you said it was around the time you and Diddy. That's how you know he already. He was hating on me before he even knew me. <laughs> Look at the pause. DDG so happy right now. I don't care, y'all. I promise you, I don't. I'm reading his chat. I don't care. This don't listen. I ain't gonna listen. If y'all gonna try to rock with me now, like I posted a, a TikTok the other day, and it was somebody saying, "Oh, I can listen to DD. I can listen. To I'm geeking in peace now." It's like, bro, if y'all ain't gonna rock with me for me, then you ain't gotta rock with me, bro. Like I'm not asking y'all to fuck with me. You feel me? But. I told you so. You had beef. You lied again. CSGO was after. Are you not forgetting what you typed? Are you not forgetting what you typed, bro? You feel me? And one thing, bro. Bruce, I'm talking to you, Bruce. I'm talking directly to you, my Before you hop on your stream and you start... <laughs> same the that you want to say and complain in this shit. take a step back look at what you did and for once take accountability my nigga. for once for once I, hard. Bro, for I guarantee he ain't gonna do that bro his ego is too big he just think he's I think Bruce in his head he really think like he like the biggest ever like I think in his head and sometimes that's good and sometimes it's bad. Sometimes it's like it's good to boost your confidence. But I think he, in his head, he think he's better than everybody else. 
that's going to shoot him in the foot. Just like he, he's shooting himself in the foot right now. People ain't going to rock with him like that. His streams ain't going to hit the same. After he talk about this situation, listen, bro, I tell y'all, y'all know me, bro. I speak, I'm like a fortune teller. I'm telling y'all what's going to happen, bro. I'm letting y'all know right now. And I just seen a bunch of TikToks and all that, and y'all telling me DDG was right. He can tell the future. Listen, he going to talk about this situation. That's going to be his biggest stream, right? After he talk about this situation, he get on here and he get to talking about whether he apologize or what, right? His next stream ain't going to be nothing. Nothing. Took too big of a blow. It ain't going to be a thing on it. His value didn't went low. Now he got to rebuild. Y'all know how I, got, I had to rebuild because I didn't beef with a bunch. Bro, I know I didn't been through it. He going to have to rebuild a lot. And he this is all he do. So it's different. You know, I got different. I got different little things I'm doing. Bro. I might be canceled on Twitch. But I might be I might be on YouTube or I might be on Snapchat number one. Like, you know, I ain't here to toot my own horn, but I'm telling y'all, after after he talk about this situation, bro, people ain't gonna never rock with him the same. If your own fans don't fuck with you, like I got people that even through all these little internet beefs that I done went through, they still been rocking with me because I never switch up on my supporters. Ever. So that's why I got a solid fan base. That's why I got, that's why I'm still relevant to this day. People thought that I would fall off because I'm beefing with a streamer. No, I am going to be relevant forever. I might, they might nerf my views a little bit, whatever. Everybody views nerf, but I would never fall off ever because I love my supporters and I rock with them. I talk to them. I, you know, I do little shit like get on Twitter, send somebody some money, whatever, like talk to them, get on Snapchat, answer their questions, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like just little engagement goes a long way with supporters. You got to think about it. People, I look at it like this, like you might look up to me or something like that. I might, you might want to hurt yourself or something. And then I might just answer your question one day on Snapchat or something, or I might just tweet back or like your tweet. And then you might think twice about hurting yourself. You feel me? I think of it like that. Like everybody ain't in the blessed position to be making a bunch of money and this and that. And y'all spending y'all time that y'all can be spending on family or anything to watch me or to, to listen to my music or whatever. That means a lot. That's why I would never fall off. But when you beefing with your own fan base, bro, that's when it gets spooky. When they your own supporter. I didn't see supporters switch up on me, but them wasn't my real supporters anyway. Them was people that was just bandwagoning. But when you switch up on your core, that's when it gets spooky. What? Just what? Unless your pride is so big and built up that you just wouldn't do it. My nigga, you shitting on the shit with AMP that happened in May. I seen the date for that. It was in May. I was cool. But we was cool. And you still say that? I feel like little shit like that don't have to be said. You're on my brand now. Everybody in this crib work hard as for that shit. You shit on what we got going on. You shit on. Now he beefing with the whole A&P. It's like, that's four, how many niggas in the house? That's four, five communities you got to beef with now. It's getting spooky for dog. I don't know how this going to work. If not, if he come back from this, he might be him. Six. He might be him. If he come back from this, he, he might be like that. I ain't gonna lie. Because he, if you D.O. and you watching this right now, I'm telling you, the nigga you support don't like you for real. <laughs> he don't even like you. If you still, like, here, look. If you still supporting him, right, after this, that's like, this, that's the equivalent of you being a bad bitch, right? And he hitting you. He just hitting you so good that no matter what he do, you're going to stick around. He just cracking you. And you're just going to stick around because, you know what I'm saying? Just because of that. You feel me? That's what it is, though. Like, if you keep supporting him, you're down there like a, a female that's getting hit that's just trying to stick around because he hitting you right. 
That's what it is, though. That, <laughs> but hey, if that's what y'all want to be, that's cool. That's cool. If y'all, if that's what y'all want to be, that's cool. It's whatever. But I'm telling you, he don't really like you. He just gonna hit you and then leave you out. If you just want to get hit, that's cool. But I feel like you should have more respect for yourself. Our brand. You feel me? Yeah, somebody said it. Side bitch, that's what y'all. If you still support him, you down there settling to be a side bitch. I'm going to just be a side bitch. That's all I'm going to be. Y'all think I'm joking, but that's what it really is, bro. Like, hey, hey, look, I would treat you like the man. Personally. I treat you like the man. I would never treat you like a side. For real. Just for once, take accountability, bro. Like, we don't got to be cool. We don't got to be friends. I don't, I don't want that. You don't got to communicate with me. You don't got to say nothing to me, bro. You feel me? And just for once, see, look at your community. And, and not even, if you're not going to apologize to nobody, apologize to them niggas. Please. Them niggas deserve it, bro. Apologize to your community. Okay? Them literally ride or die for you no matter what. And for you to to do something like that. You know why he ain't gonna do it? Because it's, if he do it, technically, technically, listen, I'm breaking it down. If he, if he apologized to the community, technically it's like Kai his big homie. Which I've been telling y'all that, bro. Kai is Bruce's big homie. So if he do what Kai said, he gonna seem like the little homie. He ain't gonna do it, bro. He got too much pride. He gonna shoot, bro. It's damn near over for dog. But if he come out, if he come out on top after this, bro, like, hey, by all means, bro. By all means, I don't hate on no man. Look, I always said from the jump, as a black creator, I wish we could all be homies. I wish we could all be friends. Why we don't beef with the other people? Like, why we got all, it always going to be black on black crime. I don't get it. Every time it's going to be black on black crime. I'm like, bro, why we can't just all be friends? Why we can't all support each other? We always got a beef all the time. It don't make no sense. So it's like, I mean, I don't know, bro. I don't know. I don't know how it's going to go down for Mr. Bruce. I ain't going to lie. I, I'm good off that. I'm good off that. You feel what I'm saying? I'm good off that, bro. I'm, I'm good off that, and I'll do this with anybody. I don't give a fuck if it was Bob from across the street that I was cool with since 2016. You do some weird shit like that, that you're done. You're done. finished. Finished. Finito, you're done. Finito, done. You're done, bro. That's what I'm saying. You're done. Finished. But, yeah, that's that's really all I had to say, and I'm saying it here because... We try. He try. He want to talk to me on the phone, but I don't want to, Bruce. I mm -mm. No, we don't need to talk on no phone. He, he don't want to be real on the phone, bro. He want to do the streaming. So hit him with the streaming. You had to hit him back with the streaming. You ain't wrong for that. Nah, you gave him a chance to be on the phone. Mm -mm. I don't want to talk. Hey, you said so you done said enough. You don't. It done showed enough. You done said enough. The last time, if you look back at that clip. Of him wilding on me, I let you. I let. I didn't. I didn't want to go there with you, bro. I let you do. I was. I played it real mature with that. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So the last time that happened, if you look at that clip, the nigga was going crazy on me, bro. Was. Going crazy with no backup, no nothing, bro. And I let him do that. I used to see them clips and be. I used to think in my head like, "Can you let him talk to you like that?" I ain't gonna lie. When I used to see them little clips, and and, and he just be talking crazy about him. And I'm like, maybe they got like a different type of friendship where it's like, it's, you know what I'm saying? It's cool. But before all of this, I always thought in my head, like this nigga low key, he low key talking crazy to you. You feel me? But you said you was just letting it slide. Now it's the final straw. And I'm going to tell you right now, bro, like, You were saving them before. It ain't time to save no more. Come on, man. Hey. This time, I'm not with it. You're, you you're know who would have never switched up, bro? No, you ain't gonna talk about finished. It. You're done. Do what you gotta do. And but really think about what I said. Next time you talk on your stream, bro, do not 
Please, bro. You know, hey, Kai, you know who you should do boys night with? You should do it with Ray. That's who you should do boys night with. That's a genuine dude right there. That's who you should do boys night with. Play the game with Ray. Come on, man. Yeah. Not no ungrateful. Look at that. DDG was right. They probably made TikToks about me. Who was that? Ryan G28 probably made TikToks about me. Tweets, think pieces. Probably um people really be trying to play like my music is like the worst music in the world, which I don't get when y'all listening that's not good at all. But I ain't even going to get into that, bro. Like I earn my stripes. Y'all ain't got to like it right now. It is what it is. But it's like, it's so wild to me, like, how people switch up so quick. MN living 45, like, it took for Kai to say, it took for him to snake Kai for y'all to like me. What? Mind you, I'm double platinum, two golds. Like, it ain't easy to do that. It's not easy. And then, like, like I feel like if I would have... I'm not even going to get the yapping about the music. Y'all know how I feel about it. But I feel like if I would have never started doing YouTube, which I am very grateful to be on here, I would definitely be way bigger in the rap game because I would have a more mysterious mystique to me. That's why y'all like these other artists because they so mysterious. Like, I'm just an open book. But this is how I'm able to feed my family. This is how I'm able to live my life and, you know, do what I do. So it's like I can't go back on it. It is what it is. Y'all know me. Y'all know me. It is what it is. You got to choose when you listen to my music to separate me as a personality and an artist. Once people realize, once people understand to separate the two, then you can appreciate my music. Do not just go into there not knowing what you're about to say. Start off on an apology. To the to the commute to your niggas, bro, them deserve it, bro. You feel me? And that's it. I'm good off that. Anybody else that he said something about, I I can't talk to them. I can't speak on them. I just that was a good reaction. That was a good way to handle it. You need to apologize to your uh, community, Bruce. Before I get mad, for real. I don't want no apology. I don't want you to like me, but you need to apologize to DEO because they rolled for you. They put their life on the line talking about me because they know what these hands do. D.E.O., y'all know what these hands do. Y'all put y'all life on the line for that man and he don't even respect y'all. That's crazy. And then you're going to blame it on me. That don't make no sense. You know what I could have did to you for making that TikTok, bro? You put your whole entire family on the line, bro. Your granny on the line, you put your mama on the line to disrespect me for that man. He don't even care about you. That's crazy. It's wild to me, bro. I ain't gonna lie. That's just... It's wild, man. It's spooky. For real.